Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, the ADA chart is moving sideways at the moment. We have overlapping structures. It looks pretty corrective. We haven't got a sustained breakout to the upside yet here in a small third wave. That's still um, not happening yet. But the price formed a higher high and a higher low um, into yesterday's low. So we already talked about this labeling here, I believe, in the last video. I believe in the last video, not entirely sure, but I think we already talked about this 1-2 setup, um, which is still holding. But bear in mind, this is just an interpretation really of the nano structure here. Um, very fragile and the break or invalidation of this doesn't really change the overall trend. Let's talk about the overall structure first. Um, so anybody who's new gets a good idea of the bigger picture and the overall working thesis here which still suggests that we are in this five wave pattern to the upside which started to develop in june last year so this five wave move up is basically in the late stages that's the idea basically in the fifth wave of that diagonal pattern so it's the last wave and yeah um, at the moment the market is just sort of trying to get to the target that we talked about already a few months ago here this range between 85 to 96 cents it's it can always go a little higher yeah i'd like it to get there though it's um, a structure that already fulfilled minimum expectations so we talked about that in in previous videos that we already uh, are able to identify a five wave pattern to the upside here but the fifth wave in my opinion should still see a little higher should still the price should still go a little higher that would be ideal to get to that overall range there 85 to 96 cents again can always go a bit higher we're dealing with a diagonal so fibonacci levels in diagonals are always a little bit more difficult you know the market sometimes in diagonals doesn't respect these so well or price might overshoot price might not quite reach them it's just something to be aware of in diagonals they are not very reliable structures but we should still see a little higher as long as relevant support levels are holding so we're basically in this fifth wave, which started uh, after that wave four bottomed on the 23rd of January. The price reached recently a local high of 80 cents, then dipped into the yellow support zone, found here support between the 50% Fibonacci level and the 61.8 Fibonacci level. Mm, basically two levels that are very relevant for such a B wave pullback. The idea is that we're working on an A, B, C structure in which the A wave had five waves, the B wave bottomed in the yellow support zone. And yeah, I'm watching now for a C wave to the upside unfold um, to complete that last wave of the diagonal pattern. Um, the yellow box is still relevant. So it's a support zone that could definitely be tested again. I'm not too confident that we've bottomed here already in wave B, but I currently assume it. If we bottom, then yeah, this C wave has started. And there are two ways how we could climb higher, either directly in the white count, which is a very messy count. Let's go to the one hour chart. Would be an ending diagonal in which we're now moving up in a C wave of wave three. And yeah, we possibly completed an ugly one, two setup here, but there is currently no evidence that this third wave has started. If it has, we should get to 85 cents next. It should then climb higher then should get a four and a five. If the price breaks below yesterday's low, it would be an early indication. So that's by the way, the level at 70, 70 and a half cents. That would be an indication that yellow wave two is unfolding. Just a different way of counting this move to the upside from the B wave low that formed on the 5th of March. So at the moment, as long as the 5th of March low is holding, we're dealing either with this you know, more direct, quite messy five wave move to the upside or the yellow count, which would look better, um, but I cannot confirm it until we break below the, um, well, yesterday's low would be a good indication that the wave two in yellow is unfolding basically as a uh, wave one. And then here possibly um, A, B, and maybe C wave down, and then we could move up from there. They're both very similar structures, just that in the yellow count, the lower yellow support zone could still be tested again. That's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.